In the question 2, we will use properties of logarithms and solve the expressions. This particular question here is sort of a writing question. So I'm not sure how exactly they'll ask, but they are asking, you, need, you have to just expand, like write it and prove a product and a quotient. You need to write it and give example. Now, product and quotient, that means you need to have two terms multiplied. I will take it as, I'll take in terms of x and y. x into y, I'm multiplying product, quotient is z. What is the product and power? So I need products, that is x and a power. I'll take power 2 multiplied by, uh, you can take y, or you can have a power over here as well. Now what does it mean to have a product, a product over here, the product rule, the quotient, division and a power, everything together. So what I'll do is, this one I'll just edit it like this, okay. This is an example. I have to just take random examples, okay? And then I have to use the properties. We will just look over here which sort of examples are taken. Here, product, you can see product is xy and divided by uh, the quotient is taken as phi. Now, we take in terms of log, right? Because it's all about logarithm, uh, logarithmic expressions. So, log base b and xy by phi. Now, how do we expand this? What are the properties for uh, how to solve this? How do we use the properties? The first thing will be the division, quotient rule. xy minus phi. See, I'll just show it over here. So, log base b, xz. Sorry, this is xz. Minus the divided part. Always, when it's division, it becomes minus. And when you have two terms multiplied, see over here, log base b, x multiplied by z, right? You can split it out by multiplying the log base b to both the terms and adding them up. See log base b x plus log base b z. So you just multiply it but plus. This is the expansion, that's it, you can't expand further. They have just asked expanded expression. Same thing with the other things, over here there are powers and products. You can see there are powers and products. So what happens is there's a power rule as well, which states that if you have any power say log m to the power n. This power can be multiplied. It will be n log n. Is that okay? So over here we have, the, this is log base 10. If nothing is written, it's base 10. This understood. Now log base b m power 4. Multiplication will be plus over here, plus log base b p to the power 6. Now whatever is the power can come down. See here. And we write it. This is property. This is equal to this. Now, if you have the question in terms of n log base n m, and you want to write it as power rule, like your users, you can write this as log m to the power n. So this is how we do it. And lastly, we had product quotient and power. Here we have see product power quotient and also another power. Same thing, first split it out with minus and then use the multiplication and then use the power rule. All the different properties of logarithms are used here. What about this problem? Here we have log base of root a and then a to the power squared. You can try putting this in the calculator and it shows generally can't solve. Okay, if you put this as x and x, because there's lots of computation involved, square, power, it won't be able to be solved in the calculator. You might try it in graphing calculator or if you have computer software, it'll solve it up. But here it's so simple. You need to use the rule of converting log to exponent. So what we do over here is, see, I'll write it out over here, the given. You need to solve this by writing, there's no other way. Let's make this equal to x. Now I will take this, I need to solve the exact value. That means if I assume this to be x, I need to solve for x. Let me take the base to the other side. And this dissolves. It will be a square remaining here and square root a to the power x. Okay. But here there's a problem. The square root over here, there's a. So how about I square both the sides? If I square both the sides, what's going to happen? I will... I, I can remove this square root and over here I will have a number only. So I'll square this over here and I will square this over here. Here this is going to be 
a to the power 4 that will be equal to this I'm not going to multiply over here with x I will remove the square root because this is already half isn't it this would be power half multiplied by 2 will be 1 so this cancels with this I will have only a to the power x if you are getting this confused I will just write this square root a power x right now what is this power of square root power of square root is a power half but I have in the uh, numerator the x so I'll write x over here that's that's one more method but this is also fine now a and a is basis are same that means the exponents can be equated so 4 is equal to x is the answer here also basis are same so I can equate the exponent it will be 2 times x by 2 take the 2 to the other side 4 is equal to x same answer any method so the answer would be 4 so this is how you can solve the problem you can see the steps it's just the same sadly you can't use calculator for this method you need to do it manually itself now we have an interesting problem which expression doesn't belong uh, to this group now look at the question uh, options we have log base b24 that is 2 times 12 yes this is correct because we when it's plus you don't add these terms you multiply them 12 times 4 is correct what about this it's 20 plus 4 really you should multiply 20 times 4 is 80 this is wrong what about this 8 times 3 is correct 4 times 6 is 24 yes so 1 2 1 3 and 4 options are in no proper but this is wrong okay that's the answer they have solved all see this one this log doesn't belong to because it doesn't equal this is a wrong equation okay all the other choices belong to that here we have another problem where we need to solve the exact value of x you can try this in calculator it might take a long long time if you're going to get it but generally such problems you may not get it so we will use the properties it's again simple properties of log here okay there is one important thing which you must know this everything is in the power can you see this entire thing is to the power so forget this x for a minute just solve this one what's going to happen we have 2 to the power 3 you can make it log base x 8 and over here it's just 5 now we have log x 8 minus log x uh, log base x 5 this is the division rule right you can just write log base x 8 divided by 5 now when you look here what is the thing we have x to the power log base x itself this is inverse they cancel out this comes down okay so what remains is basically see over here they have given the identity whenever you have x to the power log base x this base and this base over here should match if these bases match then whatever is the term over here is the it just comes down that's the answer now we have a proving problem we need to explain how properties of exponents logs are related with examples like the first problem with it we will just look through this see the quotient property over here we have two terms divided now how would you solve this log base 2 see this won't come for the exam in terms of writing they might just give you a question like this and tell us which property it relates or something like that okay so 32 can be written as 2 to the power 5 and 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 and then we can simplify this log base 2 2 to the power here what you can uh, you can just put in the calculator and solve it up but I'll just tell you what has happened here 2 and 2 is the same base so you can just do power 5 minus 3 and now this is the answer you got over here the right now what what did we just do over here we did not use any property we just divided see this division was there right we just left it as it is we simplified here we simplified 32 like this and solved it up now if you use the actual property over here it's mi minus right if you use that log base to 32 minus log base to 8 and solve them individually we are not using any properties here just the basic properties we are not using the quotient property or anything we just see log base 2 2 to the power 5 now we can cancel this and this why because the base and this is same so 5 comes down we just now did it right 5 comes down over here also same thing 3 will remain so now we can do 5 minus 3 so now either we divide or we subtract they both are equal so therefore we can tell these two properties are related 
So over here, if you do power pro property, what, what is happening? Similarly, we can do this 3 as 3 power 2 and now we can simplify the powers and then simplify this all together. Now if 4 is multiplied outside to log base 3, 9, we can do the same thing. See, this was power. Now we have it below. Let's solve it up. It'll be 9 times 4. 4 is just left out separately. 9 can be written as 3 square and log base 3 and 3. This cancels out. 2 remains. The answer is same. So this is how we can tell these both are related to each other. So that is how we can easily prove them up. And that's the end of this topic. You can just try to understand some important concepts of it because these questions are in MCQ. So, but the concept of these topics are important.